So let's get some video in our emails. There are so many reasons why we might want to include a video in the email, and I'm going to show you exactly the easiest ways to do it. There's a few different options. I'm going to show you all of them. And at the end, I'm going to show you the HTML5 way where you can actually watch a video in the email. You know, the playback happens in the email itself, but be warned that doesn't work for the majority of uh, email clients such as the big ones like Gmail and Hotmail. So first I'm going to show you the techniques which are the easiest and that work um, consistently. Then I'm going to show you a more complicated way which doesn't always work and you need some kind of fallback. And also it's the most complicated because it requires code. So let's jump in, let's do it. And if you haven't done so already, definitely subscribe and hit the bell button. So the, by far the easiest way is just to use Vidyard or Loom. I've got two links in the description below and you can just use these two tools to just make the process really simple. Basically, if you're trying to do, if you're using video every single day, like you can use it for prospecting, i.e. sending personalized videos to prospects to get them on a phone call so you can sell them your service and get some signed contracts. I'd say video is one of the best ways to do prospecting. And I have a whole video I just made on exactly that, which I'll link in the description below when I release it. So apart from prospecting, a couple of other amazing ways to use video is by onboarding clients. So it's a great way to onboard a client, either personally with a video, so you don't have to spend time scheduling phone calls, having like a quick onboarding call. You can just send them a video, it's personalized, it builds the relationship, and they can watch you talking. Um, also, you can also do it in an automatic, auto um, systematic way where it just sends them an email and you've got a more generic uh, onboarding thing, which is not just emails and descriptions. It's you saying, hey, welcome aboard. This is how it works. This is what's going to happen, et cetera, et cetera. Onboarding is a great way to use video. Um, a second way is client relationship building. So sending them, for example, OK, this is what we've done. This is how it's working. Uh, this is how the week has gone. This is your update. And they're just constantly getting these video updates, which are quick and easy to do. Again, you don't have to schedule a phone call and do a big Zoom thing, which is a much larger commitment. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, but you can do less of them and make more of your time. So I'm using video for onboarding, prospecting, client relationship building. And actually, one of the main ways I'm using uh, Loom specifically, and I think I'm going to be transitioning to Vidyard, is uh, talking to my colleagues, like explaining them what I've done, what we're doing, and getting them to also go, I'll ask them, what have you done today? Or what's, you know, how's that project going? They can just send me a video going, oh, these are the creators I've done. This is the copy I've done. This is why I don't, I'm a bit stuck on this kind of stuff. Maybe you can help me. It's a really quick way of communicating. So if you haven't done so already, sign up to Loom or Vidyard. Two links in the description below it will help me a lot if you click on those links specifically. So let me just show you how to do it with Loom really quickly and I'm going to go into other techniques. You can literally, you do your video, it's a whole video player. So you just click on Loom, it records you like I'm recording exactly, I'm recording this on Loom and this was recorded on Loom earlier. And then you just click share, embed, copy GIF thumbnail, go to your email and literally just paste it there. And there you go, look at this. You can change the title here as well which is video for John or whatever you want to call it, you know, specifically put it there. So when people click on that, they can, the click through rate's really good because it automatically creates this GIF, which is really, really cool. And so when someone sees this, the click through rate on a GIF is much higher. I love using GIFs more than static images. And um, I'll mention why playback within the email is a bit difficult a little bit later in this video. But obviously that's the best thing you can do is have playback within the video. Um, but that's a bit of a challenge. So another manual way of making GIF, which is not with Loom or Vidyard, which is the simplest, quickest way. And if you're doing a lot of these videos, you're prospecting 10 times a day, like I explained in my prospecting, how to get clients a video uh, video on YouTube. You can check out the link in the description below. If you're not doing it all the time, and you want to do it manually, you don't want to sign up to one of these platforms, you can literally just use, for example, GIFs.com. And I created this GIF just now really quickly. I would add a play button, um, but it's super simple. You can, for example, go to the video you want to you know, animate here, click on it and go to your browser, put it there. And in front of YouTube, put in GIF, GIF youtube.com and it'll take you directly there and load it in the GIF editor. So that's a really quick way to do it. And then you can just animate it here. Then you can animate it here. You can add like a play button, which I would recommend because the click for it will go high. You can write some kind of stuff down here. Um, the only problem is you'll have this GIF uh, logo if you don't pay $2 a month. 
Um, so there are other platforms you can use as well. But having a GIF, I would say having the GIF in the email is the best consistent way to just send out the email to, and which all the email clients, including Gmail and Hotmail, will accept and have the play button there so people click through and then get to wherever you want them to go. If it's on YouTube, Vimeo, or it's hosted on your own website, you can literally just hyperlink it. You just click here, hyperlink it to wherever you want it to go. So you click, you click on the actual image, you click on hyperlink, and then you just put in where where you want it to go here. So www.b2bhero.co, wherever you want them to go, wherever the video is hosted. So when they click on it, they'll get linked to either the YouTube, Vimeo, or hosted on your own website, wherever it is. And the click through rate is quite good on that. The next way is just to do it static with a static image. And it's not as good as a GIF, but it's kind of also a good option. So the best way I'd like to do it, so from YouTube, for example, I would just literally go to the video that I wanna you know, get a screenshot of, click share, click embed, and it just gets you that image, which is really cool. People recognize a YouTube image of that, and you click um, on Mac, it's uh, command shift four and then you can screenshot exactly where you want it to go. So for example, here, and then once you have that, you can literally just put it, add the image by clicking here on the image icon or drag it in and it's going there. Then you click on the image and you hyperlink it and you hyperlink it again to the YouTube video itself or wherever you want them to go. Preferably it's to the YouTube video, otherwise you're tricking them to go somewhere else. Um, so that's a really cool way to have that in the video. And it has this cool play button already there from YouTube. So people are people kind of don't realize that no, they're not gonna be able to watch it in the email. So they'll click on it and get taken to YouTube and watch it there hopefully. Obviously another way to do it, just go to Canva, take a screenshot of the video or whatever of the thumbnail, add the little play button yourself export it from Canva and put it in your email. So that's another way of doing it. Another really simple way of doing it is literally just hyperlinking word, hyperlinking some words. So check out this video. So, you know, you literally can, in the email, you just hyperlink it. And what's cool is on Gmail, you get the video linked at the bottom so people can see it at the bottom here, which is quite cool. This is another one of my videos. I would say this isn't the best way, but it's kind of a cool way. And what I would actually do is I would mix the, I would put it in as a, I would put this in as a GIF, but then below the GIF, I would write, you can watch the video, video here. So they can, and then hyperlink it. So you go like that and you hyperlink it here, put the video, whichever video it is. And the cool thing about that is that it will, um, the cool thing about that is that it'll then do the same thing. You can click on that, the pick, the GIF, you can click on that, and also you can click at the bottom. It'll even link it up at the bottom. So it's really a great way to do it. I'll just do that. The final way is actually using HTML5, which is a way to put the video in, in embedded in your email, where people can actually watch back in the email itself. But be warned, this doesn't work with Gmail or Hotmail. So you need a fallback. So it's actually a good way to do it. But you basically need this, this code here and you input your own, so it's mysite.com, wherever you're hosting that, you put that there. So it'll be on your site and wherever the video is on your site. And then you also need a fallback image. So basically, because it's not gonna work on Gmail or Hotmail, it's gonna be inconsistent. People are gonna be getting different experiences. So you gotta decide if you want that. But it could be cool to even segment your audience to the client, um, the email clients that do accept video playback, um, which are quite a few, but it's probably like 30% of all email clients accept it and the rest don't. So most don't, which is a shame because having the playback within the email itself without them having to click through would get the most engagement. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. So you can literally just use this code. I'll leave it in the link in the description below. But I'd highly recommend just sign up to Loom or go to Vidyard. Use the links in the description below. It's the simplest way. And you can start using video to prospect, to in your emails, to your, um, your colleagues, to onboard people and with your clients and all that kind of stuff. Using video is a really, really powerful way. And Vidyard is building a really cool system as well. Um, I'm actually migrating from Loom to video. If you haven't done so already, check out the video on video prospecting that I've got and I'll link it up here.